You can't spend much time in Bloomingdale before you come across the phrase, character counts. It appears on banners in our streets, it's on our police cars, there are banners and posters in our schools, library, and park district facilities. So what exactly is character counts? Is it just a friendly reminder to us all to be good? Or is there more to it than that? Character counts is trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, citizenship. Character Counts is a community-based strategy to instill character development goals in schools, youth organizations, and in all areas of the community that influence our children. Character Counts is intended to support parents in their efforts to raise children with a strong sense of ethical behavior. Its main goal is to give our young people a consistent, value-based message of the principles of right and wrong. We want to enable them to make good choices. Character Counts was founded and is administered by the Josephson Institute of Ethics, a tax-exempt nonprofit organization whose only agenda is to strengthen the moral fiber of the next generation by promoting ethical values. The Bloomingdale Character Counts Coalition is a group of community organizations that have agreed to promote the message of Character Counts to our community. Bloomingdale Coalition members are School District 13, St. Isidore Catholic School, Bloomingdale Park District, the Village of Bloomingdale, Bloomingdale Police Department, Bloomingdale Fire Protection District, Bloomingdale Public Library, Bloomingdale Chamber of Commerce, Bloomingdale Roselle Rotary Club, the Winnebago School PTO, Bloomingdale VFW Post 7539, Bloomingdale Township, and the Bloomingdale Senior Advisory Council. Character Counts came to Bloomingdale in 1996. Former District 13 Superintendent, Dr. Jerry Gordon, describes how it all began. School District 13 has a Citizen Advisory Council that uh, in 1996 discovered that they wanted to get uh, the school district involved in character education. We wanted to find a program that was not intrusive into teacher time and teacher demands, but we found, and we found Character Counts existing in Lombard, which was uh, a whole community effort, that gave us a, a good uh, place to start. Uh, we were able to invite them to a large community meeting with leaders from the various community organizations, and from there we just took off. The ethics and values of Character Counts are presented as six pillars of character. It didn't take long for the schools and teachers to start incorporating them into classes and activities. As we were studying it, we noticed we had the six pillars, and we put them in a parent survey to see if they would support the school district getting involved in the uh, pillars of trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. And we got 98% of our parents to say that's exactly what they wanted the schools to do. So we were knew, knew we were on the right track from the very, very beginning. Students don't take a Character Counts class as such, but the six pillars are incorporated into discussions and behavior throughout the curriculum and school activities. Dr. Kim Perkins, current superintendent of District 13, explains the value of character counts in education. When you talk about character, when you talk about the moral values we want our youngsters to have so that they, be, so they can be successful citizens in America, um, character counts adds value to what we do. And when you have a community coalition like we do here in Bloomingdale, um, students hear the message from many different sources. And when they get that consistent message from many different sources, from families, from churches, synagogues, mosques, from village officials, from police departments, park districts, um, it just makes it easier for students to see consistency. Students are always looking for consistency of message. Um, Character Counts and the coalition here in Bloomingdale provide that. At the Jarden School, one aspect of character, or one pillar, is emphasized each month. At the end of the month, children nominate students that best exemplify that character trait. The principal draws three names. One of the selected students receives a t-shirt, and the other two get to have lunch with the principal at Portillo's. This reward encourages ethical behavior, and the selected students stand out as great examples for the others. For Character Counts to be an effective program, the message must be reinforced throughout the community, not just the schools. Providing a good example for children is the main way the police and fire departments incorporate Character Counts in their work. 
through their contact with children at community events, open houses, dare, peer jury, and other activities, police and firefighters have many opportunities to demonstrate ethical behavior to children. Mayor Bob Iden explains the importance of having the Village of Bloomingdale and the police and fire departments be a part of the Character Counts Coalition. The Village of Bloomingdale has been a very active member of Character Counts since the beginning. We've always enjoyed uh, participating with other intergovernmental uh, agencies throughout the community, uh, mainly the uh, Fire Protection District, the uh, Park District, our, our, all of those that really have a significant uh, impact on the uh, youth of our community. So we really are very supportive of it. One of the great untapped resources of many communities are the senior citizens. In Bloomingdale, the Character Counts Coalition keeps seniors informed about the program. Many of our older adults have grandchildren in schools in the area and are pleased that they can discuss with and model ethical behavior for students of this younger generation. Lucy Michaelick describes the interest of Bloomingdale's senior citizens in Character Counts. Character Counts um, has done a lot to bring a, a lot of the seniors together closer with their families. We have invited Character Counts representatives to speak at our AARP meeting held at our local uh, senior center, as well as the Senior Citizens Advisory Council to the Bloomingdale Police Department. My personal goal is to bring information to as many seniors as possible. Some of our seniors have been nominated and recognized at our annual Character Counts Breakfast. And more seniors than ever are attending our Character Counts Night and thoroughly enjoying their evening. Bloomingdale Park District is also a charter member of the Bloomingdale Character Counts Coalition. The Park District incorporates Character Counts into virtually all of its activities. The pillars of character are stressed and observed in the district's preschool, and after-school care for elementary school students. The Park District has even developed its own curriculum called Score 6 based on the pillars of character counts. Every parent, coach, and adult involved in Park District athletics must attend a Score 6 evening where they view a video and discuss the application of character values to sports. Over 3,500 residents have been through this program and the Park District is now developing a similar program for children. Each year, members of the community nominate citizens who have been an outstanding example of ethical behavior, and the Bloomingdale Character Counts Coalition recognizes their contributions at an annual recognition breakfast. Each year during the National Character Counts Week, the coalition holds a Character Counts celebration in Old Town Park. Youth Character Awards are announced during the evening. Character Counts proclamations highlight groups in the community that support Character Counts. During the year, students are asked to submit a short essay describing a charity that they would like to support. The coalition selects an essay from the submissions and a luminaria walk commemorates that charity. Over the years, charities such as the Red Cross and the Illinois Society for the Prevention of Blindness have been honored. Bloomingdale Character Counts Coalition has initiated the Pillar Award to recognize outstanding character representing one of the six pillars of character counts. Community members will be recognized throughout the year for notable acts of character. If you would like to be involved in character counts, there are many things you can do. First, model good behavior. Being a good example is something we can all do. Second, promote character counts at home at work and in the community. Recognizing people with good character and tell the coalition about it. Invite a character counts speaker to your organization. Organize a community service activity. Volunteer your time in the community. And you can provide financial support. Trustworthiness is where you keep your promise and never lie to your friends or anyone else. I'm trustworthy because I stand by my friends. I'm trustworthy because I do what I say I'll do. I'm respectful because I respect people's choices. 
I show responsibility by turning my homework in on time. Fairness is treating everyone with equality. Caring is when you care about your family and friends. Citizenship is being polite to Mother Earth by not littering.